What's up everybody? It's your boy Larry with Sony. And I imagine if you clicked on this video, it's because you want to know a little bit more about Sony's TV backlight technology. If that's the case, hang out with me a little bit and I'll walk you through all that we have to offer. All right, now before I get to all the great information I want to share with you in this video, I want to take a moment to introduce you to our one-on-one -on -one consultation program. With this program, you'll be hooked up with a Sony expert that can give you a more personalized experience when it comes to any of the questions you may have or any additional information you need. All you have to do is click the link here or check out the link in the description below. Now back to our video. All right, so you're probably wondering, why am I talking about backlight technology? Well, truth of the matter is, it has a huge impact on overall picture quality. The different types of backlight systems are used to power different levels of televisions. So I want to talk to you about the four most common ones. Edge lit, direct lit, full array with local dimming, and also OLED. All right, so I'll lead off this discussion with the first of the backlight systems, and that's the edge lit system. This system gets its name for the location of the LEDs affixed around the television. The more current or common structure is a single row of LEDs located at the bottom of the screen. Now the advantages of this technology allow TVs to be thin and sometimes more aesthetically pleasing. The challenges were, with larger screen sizes, it became a huge opportunity to keep black level and also contrast performance. Next up is direct lit. Now this is a slight upgrade from the edge lit system we talked about before. And the biggest thing is that instead of it being a row of LEDs located at the bottom, this is now a full array of LEDs located at the back of the panel. What this does is it gives you greater balance throughout the performance of your picture quality, as well as increased brightness. Now, just when you thought it couldn't get any better, I'll now introduce you to the third of the LED backlight systems, full array with local dimming. So very similar to what we have with direct LED, there's a full array of lights on the back of the screen. The difference between the two is now with full array with local dimming, each of those LEDs are segmented into small groups commonly known as zones. Now that you've been able to partition the LEDs into zones, this allows the TV processor to be able to control each zone individually to be able to establish and control both brightness and black level. All right, now some would say I saved the best for last, but I wanna to talk to you about OLED because it's in a whole nother league of its own. Now we've talked a lot about backlight systems, LEDs, and zones. The unique thing about an OLED is its individual pixel control. Each individual pixel has the ability to be either on or off and anything in between. When you have that level of pixel control, you're able to establish the greatest amount of contrast performance throughout the entire screen. All right, so hopefully you feel pretty enlightened now about the different backlight systems, but one common thread amongst all of them has been the term contrast. I know I've mentioned that several times. Contrast has a huge impact on the TV's overall PQ or picture quality. It impacts color, it impacts clarity, which gives you the overall impression of what you're looking for when you're watching your television. Now, I hope you do feel smarter for spending this time with me, but if not, feel free to visit Sony.com for a little bit more information. And as always, it's your boy Larry with Sony, and uh, I'll catch you next time.